Hello everyone and welcome to traditional sign painting with me the lad. It's been a little while since I made a video so it's really good to be back and I've got a really cool video to show you. Today I'm going to be completely hand making from scratch a hand painted sign and I'm going to show you all the processes I go through in making one. I painted it before today so I could have it nice and dry for the video. It is a bit too long so I'm going to start off by cutting it down a little bit. I'm going to make sure it's nice and smooth so we'll take a bit of sandpaper to it too. Once your edge is all smooth I want to start cutting down the frame. So now the edge is all smooth and we're all ready to go. We want to grab our frame, which has already got a lip on it. And inside that lip, we're going to put some glue and then we're going to fix it to the sign. And with a little bit of hard work, we'll get the frame in the right place. So you want to make sure your frame's all the way over that and make sure the panel's all the way into that lip. Once you're in, give it a pilot hole and stick a nail in it. That'll keep this all together until the glue sets. So let's just check if these two panels fit together. That looks pretty good. So it should look something like that. The customer already had a logo ready to go. It just took a little bit of editing to get the right layout that I wanted. And once we have the layout in a vector format, we can then go and export it and this will give us our line drawing. Make sure we get the flower too. I'm going to need to do that too. So now we have both of our drawings ready to draw out. Most of the time we use a drawing for things like this, especially if we're trying to get logos that really need to look like the company's logo. We want to make sure we have our drawing tool on. And once the paper's loaded up, we can input the right information and then it will draw out our letter in design. Now once the drawing's already marked up, we're going to cover the back in black charcoal. So then when we trace it out, we're going to left with a black charcoal line. To make sure you get it in the right spot. And tape it down so it doesn't move. Now it's taped down, make sure you mark out all your individual letters. And give yourself a top and bottom line as well. That way you'll be able to see that all the way along. It'll be important that you want to keep these letters straight. And now mark out the rest of the letter. And now when we pull the paper away, Perfectly nice chalk lines. Mm -hmm. 
And now for the most part, we're ready to go. So make sure you get your paint and you know what color you're gonna be using. You wanna pour a little bit out into a pot and bring some, um, bring some paint thinner there too. You wanna get the right consistency so it's thin enough to be able to sign paint, but then also not too thin that it'll wanna run down the wall and knock out. So grab your tools. Today's video I'll be probably using a size 8 chiseled sign painting brush. So now we're ready to start. It sometimes helps with some fonts to have tape on the top and bottom line. This will help you get really sharp edges as you get to the edge of the layer. So when you're ready to start, you start with the outside edge and give yourself a nice down stroke. Obviously with letters this big, it might be too difficult to do it all in one stroke and you might not be able to get it thin enough for the paint to spread that far. So if you have to do it in two strokes, make sure that you're getting to a point that hasn't got any uh, outside edge to touch. So that way, if you do join them together, it won't be too noticeable. So now we've got one side down, we'll go and do the other side. And it's difficult to tell the shape while you're doing one side. So remember, if you finish off the, um, if you finish off the shape, you'll be able to see where you're going wrong if some parts of the letter are too thick or too thin. Yeah, sometimes if you have no drawing, it can be difficult to tell if you're getting the right letter shape. But often the worst thing to do is to try and overcorrect and then you go too far and end up ruining the letter anyway. So now with a curved letter like this, I'd be tempted to take the tape off here. So then you can get a nice curve, otherwise you're always gonna get that sharp point above the top of the letter where it starts curving from a completely flat area. So now once the tape's off, you can get a nice round shape. And follow it round. Now the paint I'm using for this lettering is um, One Shot Maroon and it was actually a really good paint to use for this. Very easy to work with, flows quite well and also covers not too bad either. Overall was quite a pleasant experience. Now this beast starting to really take shape. Remember if you're doing lettering always try and work on the smoothest possible background that you can. So if you're making a hand painted sign, always make sure to paint it an extra few times and get that surface really smooth and that'll give you, make it so much easier in the end.
So now we've almost finished the first layer and you can see the kind of steps that are involved in a hand painted sign. So we're going to speed things up a little bit. You're going to see the process for the whole sign.
there are a few stages that I didn't show in the video, such as um, sealing the outer frame, because although it's pressure treated, it did need to be sealed as well. And also I did some sealing inside the cut ends of the frame itself that the panel slid into. You'll want to remember to do that as well, because you want to make sure this lasts outside. pretty much finished most of the layering. So we're going to leave this to dry overnight and then second coat it tomorrow. And while that's drying we're going to put up our drawing and we're going to mark out the flower. this flower I'm going to be using emerald green and this green is actually a Ronan paint. Normally I have a lot of fun with Ronan paints but this one was kind of difficult to use. It didn't seem to stretch as far and it was quite weak on the coverage. You'll notice I'm doing a lot of smaller strokes and it's really making it difficult to get that shape right. Not something I'd normally recommend. Yeah such small strokes. Really, you'd look to be doing these in maybe one or two strokes, really. Overall, not so great. But the upside is, although it might look a little rough now, I'll be able to fix a lot of this when I'm second going. And when I do that, I'll be able to get this nice and sharp. While I go through doing this, I'd love to thank everyone who joined the channel. I know it's been a few weeks since I last did a video, so it's really, really good to actually finally upload something. I kind of wanted to change the way how I was doing things. I feel like the, maybe the videos were too short or maybe there wasn't enough stuff in them and it really wasn't providing enough value for the amount of time that I was putting in there. So I'm going to be rethinking of the kind of layout and the kind of videos that I do. Maybe even trying to make them a bit more interesting with the subjects that I pick. I know there's a lot of people who want to see more traditional work, so I'm definitely going to be bringing more of that to you. As always, if you like this video, give it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit subscribe below. So now I'm coming to the end of the day, and it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do too much more. So a lot of the second cone and the smaller lettering I'll have to do tomorrow. Now unfortunately I don't have the camera with me but I will be able to get some great pictures of once the sign's up. And here is the finished sign all installed. Everything always looks better when it's finally put up. And I feel like this sign was absolutely perfect for the shop front it had. And with that, we've made from scratch our hand-painted sign. And this is my hand-painted sign. I'd love to hear what you think of it and make sure you put that in the comments below. And until next time, I've been the Letterhead and bye-bye.